Hey guys, it's me again, it's Sean. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. If you are returning, I got you girl, I got you boy, I'm here for you, okay. So today we're gonna talk about scissors, right? So in one of my five things, I talked a lot about my scissors, right? So here we go. We're gonna talk about a little bit more detail what we do with these scissors. So my snips, snips are used to literally you can cut jump stitches you can use it if you have um a mess up you can actually take and um use it as a seam ripper because the point is so thick up oh, sorry the point is so thin and it's pointy it's pretty pointy see that and so you can actually get um all of that done so snips for snipping things now our applique scissors. There are a number of different applique scissors and they all have different types of curves and they help you to get closer to the fabric and closer to the stitch lines, but preventing you, like these are called duckbill. And I have, I have the huge red ones. I mean, there's so many different types, like, there's a lot of types, there's a lot of scissors. So, um, and the duck bills are really, really good for making sure that your applique looks really nice. Cause you wanna cut as close to your stitch line as possible without cutting the stitches. So these scissors really help that. And it also helps when you're in the hoop trying to cut it. Um, it makes a difference. So duck bill scissors, okay? You can find these at almost any store. I know Joanne sells them, All Stitch has them, like they're all over the place. Like you can find them almost anywhere. Um, the other thing I like are these, I call these my princess scissors. You see how cute they are? And so with these scissors, you literally can cut whatever you need. So like I cut little stitches, I cut snips. I mean, you basically cut whatever you need. Now, again, with all scissors, what you don't wanna do is actually cut paper, especially if these are gonna go on any type of fabric. So if you're cutting anything other than paper, you can use these, but paper, don't use these. All right, what else we got over here? So we have these, they look like a little duck, but another pair of scissors. I use these for cutting any type of jump stitch. They work really well. And my little alligators, these are definitely my buddy for cutting my tight jump stitches. Like there are some real tight jump stitches you have sometimes and you just want to cut it like that. So, and these, let me let you see the whole thing. So they look like that. And they have like this little V angle on there. And this has something on it, but that has a little V. All right. See that? These are really good. They get really close. All right, so then you also have your big pair of scissors, right? So you gotta have a really good pair of shears that you can actually cut fabric. Um, and if you need to cut the stabilizer off for your, um, for your stabilizer. So there you have it, scissors. Now, let me tell you something else that's really good to have. A little caddy for all your scissors. Like literally, these all came out of here. And so they have little holes that you stick them in. And as you can see, I use it for more than that because I have all my little screwdrivers in here for taking things off when I get like a bird nest or something like that. So guys, get you a little scissor caddy. That's what I call this thing, my little scissor caddy because I have lots of scissors and these aren't all of my scissors, guys. And yes, the big ones will also fit in here, but I have a bigger one of these for my my big scissors. Um, but if I wanted them to go in here, they would just like that. Like, do I have them in the right hole? No, I actually had them in a hole with something else. So once you put them in their own little spot, they stay just like that. And then my little snips, let's put them in their little spot over here by that. Oh, that won't fit. Okay, let's put it over here. So guys, scissors are very important. 
make sure you have all the scissors that you need and there you go there you have it a caddy and scissors so thank you for joining me please like and subscribe if you haven't already and this was our moment with scissors okay so stay tuned because i'm gonna have another five more things coming up next and i'm gonna see how many pairs of scissors did we talk about let's see one two three four what are little ones five different types guys five different types of scissors and there's more so all right have a great rest of your day thank you for watching thank you for watching on the replay if you're watching on the replay and have a great afternoon and go sew something